John Thompson fought against the Turks. Three years into a far country, and all that time and something more was absent from his gay lady. But it fell once upon a time, as this young chieftain sat alone, he spied his lady in rich attire, as she walked o'er a rural plain. What brought you here, my lady gay, so far away from your own country? I thought lang and very lang, and all for your fair face to see. For some days she did with him stay, Till it fell once upon a day. Farewell for a time, she said, For now I must bound home away. He's given to her a jewel fine, was set with pearl and precious stone. Says, my love, beware of these savages bold that's on your way as ye go home. You'll take the road, my lady fair, that leads you fair across the lee, that keeps you from wild hind soldan. And likewise from base violon tree. With heavy heart these two did part, And minted as she would go home. Hind sold and by the Greeks was slain, But to base violon tree she's gone. When a twelve month had expired, John Thompson he thought wondrous lang, and he has written a broad letter, and sealed it well with his own hand. He sent it along with a small vessel, that there was quickly going to sea, and sent it on to fair Scotland, to see about his gay lady. But the answer he received again, The lines did grieve his heart right sad. None of her friends there had her seen For a twelvemonth and something mere. Then he put on a palmer's weed And took a pike staff in his hand. To violon three's castle he hide, but slowly, slowly he did gain. When within the hall he came, he jumped and couched out o'er his tree. If ye be lady of this hall, some of your good bounties give me. What news, what news, Palmer, she said, And from what country came ye? I'm lately come from Grecian plains, Where lies some of the Scots' army. If ye be come from Grecian plains, Some more news I will ask of thee, Of one of the chieftains that lies there, if he have lately seen his gay lady. It is twelve months and something more since we did part in yonder plain, and now this night has begun to fear one of his foes, he has her ta'en. He has not ta'en me by force nor might, it was all by my own free will. He may tarry in the fight, For here I mean to tarry still. And if John Thompson ye do see, Tell him I wish him 
silent sleep his head was not so cosily nor yet so well as lies at my feet he then threw off his strange disguise laid by the mask that he had on said hide me now my lady fair for violon three will soon be home for the love i bear thee once i'll strive to hide you if i can then put him down to a dark cellar where there lay money a new slain man but he had na in the cellar been not an hour but barely three Till hideous was the sound he heard, Then in at the gates came Violon Three. Says, I wish you well, my lady fair, It's time for us to sit and dine, Come serve me with the good white bread, And likewise with the claret wine. That Scots chieftain, our mortal foe, So oft from field has made us flee. Ten thousand sequins this day I'd give, That I his face could only see. Of that same gift would ye give me, If I could bring him unto thee. I fairly hold you at your word, Come, Ben John Thompson, to my lord. Then from the vault John Thompson came, wringing his hands most piteously. What would you do, the turkey cried, if ye had me as I have thee? If I had you as ye have me, I'll tell you what I'd do to thee. I'd hang you up in good green wood and cause your own hand while the tree. I meant to stick you with my knife for kissing my beloved wife. But that same weed you've shaped for me, it quickly shall be sewed for thee. Then to the wood they both are gone. John Thompson clam from tree to tree. And I he sighed and said, Oh, hon, here comes the day that I must dee. He tied a ribbon on every branch, put up a flag his men might see. But little did his false foe ken, he meant them any injury. He set his horn to his mouth, and he has blown both loud and shrill. And then three thousand armoured men came tripping all out o'er the hill. Deliver us, our chief, they all did cry. It's by our hand that ye must die. Here is your chief, the Turk replied, with that fell on his bended knee. Oh, mercy, mercy, good fellows all, mercy I pray you'll grant to me. Such mercy as ye meant to give, such mercy we shall give to thee. This Turk they in his castle burnt, that stood upon yon hill so he. John Thompson's gay lady they took and hanged her on yon green wood tree.